Howdy, y'all. Today, I have the pleasure to introduce Sir Arthur George Tansley, one of the founders of modern ecology and coined the ecological term ecosystem. His work and career encompassed the late 19th century emergence of British ecology. Tansley was born to George and Amelia Tansley on August 15, 1871 in London, England. Being blessed with both financial independence and a bright mind from a young age, he began attending preparatory schools in Worthington, Sussex, and then later attending classes and graduating from Highgate High School in London. After high school, Tangley began his upper education at Charity College in Cambridge. While attending Charity College, Tangley would obtain a first class degree on the Trinity College Tripos exam and would also begin to take classes at University College in London. While taking classes at U University College, he impressed the pro professor of botany, Frank Oliver. Eventually, Tansley would become a postgrad student at UCL and would become Oliver's teaching assistant. While being Oliver's assistant, Tansley would assist Professor Oliver with studies of coastal vegetation. More specifically, Tansley took up Oliver's interest in fern-like plants. A few years later, between 1900 and 1901, Tansley would spend a majority of that time visiting Sri Lanka, Malay Peninsula, and Egypt, collecting research material as a plant analyst, and became fascinated by the plant communities that he encountered. During his time as an assistant, Tansley founded the famed New Phytologist in 1902, which was a journal which could publish observations that had no time to be developed into full papers. Hainsley's spark in his studies of evolution in Felicinian vascular systems secured him a Cambridge lectureship in 1907. The publishment of material such as memoirs, papers, and maps would eventually influence and encourage Tainsley and 11 other world-leading botanists to formulate a five-week international phytogeographical excursion in 1911. With this and the publication of Types of British Vegetation in 1911, by Cambridge University Press, this would lead to Tainsley founding the British Ecological Society in 1913, the first of its kind in the world. Later, in 1917, Tainsley and four other botanical Bolsheviks called for the system of elementary botanical teaching to accommodate more fully the other parts most essential to the healthy life of botany as a whole. It was a goal achieved through textbooks. Tainsley's Practical Plant Ecology a Guide for Beginners in Field Study of Plant Communities, being published in 1923. Tainsley sought to transcend functionalism, holding out the prospect of a unity which came from synthesizing in an entirely inclusive manner the specialization which was coming to characterize botany. This would help retain a sense of community in botany. The student would better be prepared either in pure botany or its applic applications in agriculture and forestry. Later in the year 1935, Tranesley would coin the term ecosystem to recognize the integration of the biotic community and its physical environment as a fundamental unit of ecology within a hierarchy of physical systems that span the range from atom to universe. Tranesley would eventually retire in July 1937, which would give him more time to complete what began as a revision of his previous types of British vegetation and would eventually become his greatest work of synthesis, The British Islands and Their Vegetation, published by Cambridge University Press in 1939. This would award Tangley the Linnean Society's Gold Medal. It placed the study of plants on a broader, saner, and more scientific basis. In 1942, he was appointed chair of the British Ecological Society's new committee, the Nature Conservation and Nature Reserves. In a similar way, in 1945, he was made vice chair of the Wildlife Conservation Special Committee. Five years later, in 1950, Tangley was knighted and acknowledged as the pioneer of the modern ecological approach to nature conservation. Five years later, Sir Tangley passed away on the 25th of November. Sir Arthur Tangley can be seen as one of the founders of modern ecology and his contributions to science his research and experiments will be remembered for millennium.